Hey, welcome to Behind the Scenes. We have a very special guest today, Christine DeClario. And she's going to share something that'll encourage you as a worshiper. You see, Christine is a passionate worship leader who focuses her heart and her ministry on the manifest presence of God. And that's what it's all about. So we're going to go into this conversation and I pray that it'll help you focus and help your team focus on the essentials of the worship ministry. Check this out. Well, hey, Christine, it's so good to see you again. <laughs> Hi, Lamar, it's so great to see you. Thank you so much for having me. You're welcome, and it's a joy to converse with you because, you know, during COVID and mm -hmm. everything, we've been isolated somewhat, but this is going to be very special. I, I know it will. Now, you've, you've uh, got several Dove Award nominations. You've done so many albums. You've led worship in so many places around the world. What is worship to you? What, what value do you put in worship? Why do you give your ministry to that? Well, worship is a centerpiece of my existence. Mm. When I had my encounter with the Lord after growing up in the church and developing in the church and starting my musical journey in the church, uh, after a lot of trauma that I had to endure when I was a kid and not dealing with it, mm. when I grew up and started becoming an adult, a lot of things started coming to the surface that I didn't know how to process. Wow. And what came out was just anger, rebellion, um, and just defiance towards God. But it was very passive aggressive. Hmm. I chose to live a double life where I would be one person in church and then be a total opposite person when I wasn't around church mm. or the people of church, even though I had developed to become the worship leader of a relatively large influential church in my hometown in Atillo, Puerto Rico. And um, when I have my encounter with God, as a result of my crying out, because I, in that double life, had a clash, hit rock bottom, needed God desperately, cried out, He came to my rescue. And that gesture of rescue made me understand that the way I had led my life thus far was literally sending me to the fiery pits of hell. Mm. And the fact that God went above and beyond to capture my attention just to say that he loved me and he cared and he wanted to fix me and he wanted to heal me and he wanted to uh, restore, renew me, and that he could still use my broken pieces to help other people. And all I needed to do was just rely on him and worship. That wow. sounded so grand to me. Wow. And uh, that encounter with the Lord just awoken in me a sense of gratitude that has never left me. Hmm. And uh, I love how our pastor says it, Pastor Robert says that worship, he defines it as love expressed. Yes. So my expression of love and of gratitude and of uh, just single-heartedly saying, yes, thank you, I owe it all to you is what I call worship. And it's not just singing the songs that talk about God, but it's also living a life yeah. in pursuit of yes. Him and, and trying to be more like Him every day. Mm -hmm. And so worship is, is a centerpiece of what I do for a living career-wise, but it's also a centerpiece of, of my being because everything I do revolves around that gratitude and that love expression that I have towards God. And it overflows out of your life mm -hmm. into ministry. Yeah. Because what you are, you ooze out mm -hmm. and you bless others by doing that. And that, I think that's a key for a lot of worship ministries. Indeed. They see it as the career, oh, I'm gonna do this, and yet they're not doing it here. Mm -hmm. so, so that's powerful. 